In today's video, we're going to replace the brake light switch on the Mini 30. MOT is upon us, so let's um, crack on with it. When I was checking the car over for its um, MOT, which is looming, um, I noticed that the brake light switch was broken. Now this was working a few days ago and I think I may have disturbed it when I was putting the heater unit back in. So what I've done is I've pulled the, the heater trunk to the side, the fresh air duct which feeds the heater, um, to see if I can get my hand in behind it and there's just not enough room. So what I'll do is I'll move the heater out the road that will allow me to get into the nut that holds the brake light switch on and um, we'll get that quickly swapped over. Same as before, two screws and there's a nut at the back. Um, I hadn't tightened that from the last time I put the heater motor back in. Right, I've only pulled it away slightly, hopefully that's um, going to give me enough room to get a, a spanner in the back there. So I'll quickly go and dig out a spanner and we'll um, get that undone. This is a spanner I'm going to use to undo the nut. It's a three quarter inch stubby. If you haven't got stubbies, I'd thoroughly recommend them. They're fantastic little tools for working in confined spaces, especially on a mini. Um, because we can't get you in there, there's not enough room, I'll quickly undo it and um, show you what it looks like. And there we have it. All it is, is one little nut holding on at the back of the, the switch here. Here's a new brake light switch, and as you can see it's um, the same as before, or as what I've taken out it. So, refitting is exactly the same as taking off. Right, that was an absolute twat to do kept knocking the camera camera off the tripod. What I've done as well is I removed this hose because I really couldn't see what I was doing very well. So I'll just pop that back in once, um, once we've tested the brake light switch. So the wires, I've tucked them up as well. Pull these prongs out it. These are part of the these are part of the old brake light switch. Jeez, oh man, that is tight. Now I'll go and get a couple of pliers and pull them off. one off. That's the second one off. They were on quite tight. So if I put a little earthen shield back over it. And just stop them shorting out. Plug them back in. Right, that's it back in. Um, now to test the brakes. Right, I've jammed the brake pedal down with um, 
the jack handle, so let's see if the brake lights are on. Yep, they're lit. Other side. That's lit as well. Happy days. Right, that's another job ticked off the list. I'll just give the car another quick um, going over and just see if, uh, if there's anything else that's um, obvious for the MOT. And then with a bit of luck, this car's ready for test. <laughs>